Do we have a better connection now? Who's proud of father? Diet Cherry 7-Up and some Sailor Jerry. Sailor and 7. Popping her cherry. That was, I just poured that like a Genova. I need to get a towel. Call me Genova. All right. Father, straight leg deadlift versus leg curls for hamstrings. Which one, Father? Well, it really depends on your program. Um, that, that's they're both great exercises now when it comes to the the leg extensions or leg curls i'm sorry i would always do them lying um i i like the the lying leg extension because it involves your calves i know west side barbell does that standing leg curl you can only do one at a time it's fucking weak <clears throat> So if you're on more of a sports training um, program or a powerlifting program where you might only be training four days a week, I would say the straight leg deadlifts are the way to go. But if you're on more of a bodybuilding routine, I would say the lying leg curl. Someone who's maybe training six days a week. It's just really hard to program a stiff leg of deadlift. <clears throat> you would probably want to do a stiff leg of deadlift on the day you squat or the day that you do front squats. Otherwise, it, it, it just won't fit in. And if you're deadlifting later in the week on back day, it, it, could, it could hinder that progress. So I don't know. I'd have to look at your program, to be honest. Stiff-legged deadlifts never fit in my program because I would, I would, let's say, in a perfect world, squat Monday, and then Thursday I'd be doing a real deadlift. <clears throat> and if you're squatting and deadlifting, you really don't need a stiff-legged deadlift. All right. Ruckus username or else, Jay. I'm not on uh, Ruckus Trend Bologna sandwich. I'm really not. No, I, I got away from the captain today. To try, decided to try out the Sailor Jerry. Ninety-two proof, whereas the captain is only eighty proof, if that. I wanted something a little stronger, and they do make a Captain Morgan one hundred proof. But I just thought that maybe uh, 90 proof sailor would be a good compromise. You know what I mean? I'm not quite man enough for 100 proof rum. 100 proof rum is fucking strong.
Shit, I'm way behind in the comments. Looking obese, father. Thought you were 314 pounds. Yeah, I carry a lot of weight in my stomach, bro. Kraken is nice. Brad drinks 100 proof. How come Brad wasn't hanging out with Cassidy Campbell last night? Father, why does Dale pretend to know how to drive stick? Because Dale is an expert at everything. Just ask him. You know, um, aren't you guys curious about the title of my live? The NPC Charlotte Cup? There was a pretty big time... Um, bodybuilding show last night in Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, right there in Dale and Cornelius's backyard. And from what I can tell, neither of those two fools made an appearance. So let me ask you a question. If you were a big time trainer, well respected in your local area, like Cornelius claims to be, why wouldn't Cornelius be there rubbing elbows at the NPC Charlotte Cup? I mean, wouldn't hurt making an appearance, even if you didn't have any athletes competing. You might meet some people, do a little networking, uh, hand out some business cards, whatever. So why wasn't Cornelius there? And also, Dale... You figure that'd be a nice little social uh, environment for Dale. He could put on his little cowboy boots with a three-inch lift and be 5'9". You know, Dale's pretty beefy with cowboy boots on, 5'9", 260. Waddling around in some fucking country western jeans. Why wasn't Dale there? Dale doesn't drink or party. You figure he, if Dale was a, a big time local bodybuilder in the Charlotte scene, why wouldn't Dale want to be there? Certainly, if Dale's a big time bodybuilder in Charlotte, North Carolina, why wouldn't Dale, Dale had to have had some friends there, if not on stage, most certainly in the audience. No, I didn't Google any bodybuilding shows. I follow someone else who happened to be at the um, NPC Charlotte Cup last night. I had no idea this show was happening. I just checked my Instagram, saw someone I follow is was there last night. Jay, what color are the shorts today, gray or black? Actually, I'm not, I got kind of an off, I don't really match perfectly. My other shorts, so I have two of these shirts, but I only have one pair of shorts that matches it. Dale Will, how many drinks in? I'm on my first drink. Sippy, sippy. I heard Dale was guest posing. Cornelius Cornholius couldn't get third place at the Ruby if he was on stage with me, Lord and Lenny. Yeah, I don't know about that. Cornelius could beat Lenny and, and Jason. Dale is going for his pro card this year. He hasn't got time for nearby Pamby, Namby Pamby local shows. No, I'm talking about as a spectator. I mean, certainly people in that region, you know, know about, know of Dale Chance and respect him. You know, Dale could just be there as an ambassador for the local bodybuilding scene, shaking hands and kissing babies. No, I did not watch that pathetic UFC fight. What time did that thing even start? No, I didn't get a haircut. I 
IFBB wheelchair division is sick. Yeah, good for those guys. You know what I mean? I, it seems a little silly, but good for them. They enjoy doing it. Whatever. I got no problem with it. No, I'm never putting on boxing gloves ever again, Edgar, Edgar Gonzalez. That was a stupid mistake on my part. I'll tell you, some of the shit that went on uh, the other night between Zach and, and Grace Murray was fucking hysterical. <laughs> What's McCuck doing nowadays besides disappointing his wife? <laughs> uh, what about his poor son? Brad is in Disney World with his family. Oh, Jesus Christ, Mike Debo. I don't know if I should be reading these comments. Because if you're talking about the real Grace Murray, I shouldn't be reading them. But if you're talking about our friend here on the live stream, Grace Murray, I guess it's okay. Oh my God, John Smith just came up with a new name for a troll account. Grace's last clit rub. That's disgusting. I, I saw that Transform X has all been out of shape. Me talking about retarded people masturbating at the dinner table in front of family. It's true. Ask anybody who has a close family member that's severely impaired, and they will, once they figure out that it feels good to touch themselves, they will touch themselves at the most inappropriate places. Conservative Cuban, you still at work? Publix has got 7-Up uh, Canada Drive, buy one, get one free. Retards will finger themselves at Thanksgiving. Yes, exactly. I didn't make that up. Transform X is a goddamn tool. White Knight, just like McCuck. Yeah, for a long time I thought I tra Transform X was McCuck. Because they are birds of a feather. Oh my God, I can't read that, John Smith. I, I thought about that the other night. I thought, you know what? All this, all these comments I'm reading, some troll is going to edit them so that you can't tell that I'm reading someone else's comment, and they're going to send them to Brad. See, that's the thing. I can read comments. It gives me plausible deniability. If I, if I read someone's comment, I'm technically not talking shit about the person. Oh, my God. All right. I'm on my first drink, and this thing is already going in the gutter. For Christ's sake, you guys had me horrified the other night. Oh, shit. Grace's last family reunion? That's fucked up.
Blue STI wants to know, did you ever try insulin, J with your training? No. I'm scared to because I've had my issues with sugar in the past. But luckily I found out before it was too late. Jesus, disciple of hassle. That's a fucked up hashtag. Yeah, why fuck with why fuck with insulin? Look what it did to Dallas McCarver. The fucking moron fell asleep with a mouthful of food. Now he's dead. Now he looks like a complete asshole. What are you drinking today, bully? Sailor Jerry and Diet Cherry 7 Up. So I got, you know, the spiced rum has a little bit of a vanilla taste to it. And obviously this has a cherry taste to it. So you get kind of a cherry vanilla rum and coke. Well, I guess there's no coke, but eat my drift. Are you going to polish off that whole bottle? Fuck yeah. It's fucking early. <clears throat> I'll have a big meal tonight and then tons of sleep. I'll be fine tomorrow. That's one thing I like better about drinking hard liquor and diet soda is I don't get all the, I don't get all the carbs like the beer and, uh, I don't get hung over off hard liquor with with sugar free uh, mixers, whereas sometimes when I drink all that steel reserve, I feel like a bus ran me over the next day, and it's not from the alcohol; it's from the fucking sugar in the beer. Mac truck is malnourished and low IQ because he got free government hot lunch in school. <laughs> right. That's funny. But you know what? PMs are used to that. I mean, look at it. PMs can, can make it to become a pro athlete growing up on fucking food stamps. You don't see too many too many white people in pro sports. That, that, that grew up on food stamps. No, I don't think I would do insulin to get huge. My day, I'm 52. My days of being able to get huge are long gone. Jay, I see this live is in the morning, means I am AM. I don't know what that has Cassidy Campbell signed Prince Andrew and Jason Genova to a contract to work on his channel. I doubt it. Thoughts on Hispanics. Some of them make damn good Americans. The ones that you know still drive around flying their country of origin on their car are usually Democrats. That's how you tell the difference between a Democrat and a Republican in the Hispanic community. Patriotic Hispanics that are, that are driving around with the American flag are Republican. Hispanics driving around with their country of origin flag on their car are Democrat. <clears throat> Stray strength 650. You might want to keep your mouth shut, Jay. Some people are sick of your bullshit. Okay, tough guy. Like who, Dale? Uh.
Dale is saving money. I doubt that's, I don't know if that's the real Kalura or not. We haven't really mentioned him on my live streams in a long time. I don't know why he would decide to poke his nose in here and stir up trouble when I don't think we've even mentioned him in a while. Someone help me out. When was the last time we were talking about Kalura? I would say a couple weeks. We probably haven't talked about Kalura since um, who's that old man on Columbo's Columbo's show that it, that ripped on Lenny, Mr. Z, right, Mr. Z. Mr. G. Yeah, I, I doubt I've even mentioned Kalura since the whole Mr. G thing. So Kalura is a little late to come to the party. We should have logged on here a, a while ago when we actually talked about him. Mr. G, yeah, I, I don't know why I said Mr. Z. Mr. Z must be somebody else. I really don't care if it is Kalura or not. We, we weren't talking about Kalura, and I don't think I've mentioned Kalura in weeks. Sean says Kalura is sticking up for his buddy and fellow Misfit member Dale Chance. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that video those two did together. Whatever. I don't care. That's fine. Thoughts on Ron DeSantis 2022 re-election chances. Oh, DeSantis is going to crush it. I think DeSantis, uh, I don't know if the media is going to be behind him. You know how you know how Fox News is. They're going to want to put, pick a cookie cutter Republican to get behind, like they were behind uh, Jeb Bush in 2016. I, in my eye, they're, they're calling, um, what's her name? That, that that chick who was the uh, Trump's um, ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley. Fox News is calling Nikki Haley the front runner for 2024. <clears throat> Jesus. If that was the real Kalura, now he's got the trolls talking about him. I wonder how many of those troll accounts are McCuck. DeSantis is going to have to win governor again. Oh, I'm sure he will. 
anybody in these in these red states that that did well with the COVID and didn't fucking imprison their people is going to win their uh, gov governor reelection. Governors in the real bad states for COVID restrictions, like Michigan, California, New York, they're done. Pennsylvania, they're pissed at him too. New Jersey. Oh my God, if somebody eats a cream pie in Boston, does that make it a Boston cream pie? Technically, what if she's just a Boston fan? Like, what if she's just a Red Sox fan? You guys are all going off Brad's word about that. You guys do realize that. Your source for this information is Brad. Your source of info is Newsmax. I don't watch Newsmax. I don't even have it on my phone. But I'll tell you what, I do not listen to everything Fox News says. After the 2016 election, or, or I'm sorry, not, not after the 2016 campaign, when Fox News lied about the poll numbers, to, to keep Senator Rand Paul off the big stage in the first debate, I don't trust Fox News. Fox News is going to get behind who they want, not who the people want. And Fox News is going to choose a globalist like Bush or Romney or, you know, even though he's dead, someone like... Fox News caters to Romney. That's what I just said. The old, um, they used to call it the Romney-McCain wing of the Republican Party, but John McCain passed away. So now it's kind of the Romney-Jeb Bush wing. Did you guys see uh, George Bush is now uh, talking about we, we should uh, be sympathetic towards the illegal aliens? I'm telling you, the Bushes are not conservatives. There's... There's not much difference between a, a, a Bush and a Clinton. If you put down on a, on two, on a piece of paper, if you draw a line down the middle and, and put Bush on one side, Hillary on the other, and you write down their views, on different topics, Hillary and the Bush family are going to be very, very close. Yes, yeah, someone just said they're the same. Mike Tebow, they're the same. Yeah, they, they differ a little bit on some things, but not much. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Bill Clinton was, was somewhat of a, a moderate um, Democrat, you know, somewhat of a centrist. So Bill Clinton's presidency, if, if you elected a Jeb Bush, you, you, you'd basically get a Bill Clinton. Who do you dislike more, Canadians or Mexicans? I don't necessarily dislike either. That's a stupid question. Technically, everybody on the North American continent is 
you really shouldn't hate your neighbor unless you got a real shitty neighbor. And I don't consider Canada or Mexico a shitty neighbor. Mexico has got some issues because their government is corrupt. It's not the people. Their government is so fucking corrupt. They pander to the drug cartels because they don't want to get assassinated. Yeah, I saw that shit about that UFO. That's kind of fucked up. My aunt said you look hot in blue. It's my color, baby. Oh, Jesus. CS Ghost Skin Showcase. We've been over tricep training so many times. Chuck E. Cheese Ranch says it came out of a female, so it's female cum. What color should my girl paint her toes? You can never go wrong with hot pink. Damn it, my battery's dying. What makes you happy, Jay? What gives you a good laugh? Oh my God. Frank Hassel, I can't believe what you just said. Oh Jesus. Someone already came up with Grace's last clit rub that soon. He's obviously not very intelligent. He keeps saying the same thing over and over again. <clears throat> Perfect cycle for powerlifting is uh, test, DECA, and D-ball, or test, DECA, and Anadrol. I mean, come on, man. It's not rocket science. I just would prefer D-ball because Anadrol doesn't respond to uh, AI. Oh my God, Grace Wolf just said, I want to get on birth control. Geez, a lot of powerlifters like Anavar because you really don't gain much weight. If they don't want to, if they don't want to get, um, if they don't want to gain much weight because they're stuck in a weight class and they're already pretty lean, Anavar is pretty much one of their go-to cycles. Mm. You're getting enough amino acids. I didn't know Anavar was a DHT derivative. Is that true? Yeah, I know. These guys that keep saying the same shit over and over again. I mean, come on. We saw your comment. 
I didn't read it the first time. I'm not going to read it the tenth time. Jay, are you getting the vaccine? Absolutely not. Unless I'm forced to. They're going to have to make life pretty fucking miserable for people that don't get the vaccine for me to consider getting it. Oh, my God. No, I don't want to see Grace get blacked. For Christ's sakes. I'd rather see Brad get blacked. Jay, would you take a twin turbo Z06 over a supercharger Shelby GT500? That's a stupid question because the Z06 is already supercharged. And I don't know anything about the GT500. If I don't think they're a good question, read it just because you keep saying it. Thoughts on not being able to travel without a vaccine. Well, some states have already said we're not going to have a vaccine passport. Are places where nobody's going to go on vacation anyway. New York, New Jersey. Places people want to leave because of the taxes. Sucks. All right, just my data. I'm using. I'm going with data. I tried. I tried the um, the Wi-Fi, and it, it's so it's so weak. It doesn't even work. Yeah, I know it's buffering. DOT don't play 420. Yeah, that's true. For truck drivers to get away with smoking weed, marijuana would have to get decriminalized on a federal level. This state-by-state -state bullshit doesn't mean jack shit. Who's this Adam Adam clown? That's a new account. You lagged for five minutes, sorry. Jay, would you think it's risky to raw dog a woman from Atlanta? Yes. Jay, who is your favorite YouTuber? I don't really have one. Any bad anal experiences? Uh, no. What weight? Because that's what is. His Bubba should compete in light heavy class. 
which I believe is like 198 and three quarter, something like that. 90 kilo or help me out here, guys. I don't know. I think it's 90 kilo, which is 198 and three quarter, something stupid like that. I know it, it's not Wi-Fi, you dipshits. I'm using the data from my phone because the hotel Wi-Fi here just doesn't work. Yeah. Is it really rape if she comes? No, she obviously liked it, so that that's consent right there. I've heard this. I've heard of that about. Um, Little boys that get raped, they feel like little, when they get raped by a, a, a pedophile, they, they feel horribly guilty like little faggots when they come. Imagine that, you're like 10 years old, you got some 40 year old sucking your dick and you come in his mouth. And then for the rest of your life, you think you're gay. Did you see Grape Gorilla's Dale video on Instagram? I'm not sure. Zach, turn off your capital letters lock. We can really see how fat my neck is at this angle. Favorite sex position, walk into the kitchen after I'm done. What's wrong with you guys? My favorite psychologist, I don't know. Dr. Ruth. Can we talk about conservative Cuban small wiener? <laughs> I think he would be embarrassed if we talked about it. Yeah, I'm in a hotel. Bed with a camera. I would say both. Why not get some good pictures while you got them at gunpoint? Zach, you can use KG. Does Dale use all capital letters? I'm a little annoyed with my plugged in. I cannot drink properly holding this.
No, I still never bought a tripod. I'm sorry. There's no grass in Mexico. That's why they come here to mall. That's funny. Father, EQ or VAR? Why not both? One's an injectable, one's an oral. That's a great stack right there. Thoughts on Big Lenny being the ultimate cookie cutter now. Lenny's not the ultimate cookie cutter. Come on, man. Big Gay, can you say rustled grouse for us? It's not a rustled grouse, you idiot. A partridge, if that's what you're referring to, is a ruffled grouse. The technical name for a partridge is the ruffled grouse. Thoughts on Joe Biden having a heart attack this, this morning? I didn't hear that. Livia is in a gay relationship. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that Livia is in a lesbian relationship with her photographer, making Nate look like a complete fucking moron. Yeah, Nate's an idiot. He's getting what he deserves for taking her back after the Tyler shit. Livia is getting blacked. Yeah, but I don't think she minds it. See, European women, they don't think twice about getting blacked. To them, that's just normal. That's an American thing, because we're the ones that are racist. Yeah, remember when Nate got so shitty on the podcast? And how, how mad he got when he just kept saying there was no cheating? Really doesn't matter if, if there was cheating or not. It'd be like, you know, when you talk about your girlfriend banging somebody and there's an asterisk next to the quote and then underneath at the bottom of the page, it says there was no cheating. She still fucked the guy. I mean, come on, man. You know, couples take little breaks all the time, but you're not supposed to, you know, go fuck some people while you're, you know, working on your own relationship. You're taking shit better. See, that's why European women are all fucked up. Best college memory, graduating. Did Livia have weird energy when you met her? No, I thought she was somewhat cool. But I lost all respect for her when she treated Nate with so much disrespect. See, when she went and fucked Tyler, it offended me more than it offended Nate. Because I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy. Uh, and Nate, obviously, is, is not. Are you the last standing misfit? No. I think uh, Andrew, Lenny.
Haven't seen much of Brad lately. Jay, is Derek Chauvin walking? I wouldn't think so. I don't know. I, I have a feeling they're going to get him with that third degree charge, which is personally, I, third degree murder um, in most states is, is called manslaughter. It, it varies from state to state. In some states, it's manslaughter. In some states, it's murder in the third degree. And in, in states where third degree murder is considered manslaughter, they have a, a less severe charge that's called second degree manslaughter. And I personally think Derek Chauvin is guilty of second degree manslaughter. Uh, George Floyd expired because Derek Chauvin failed to let the paramedics treat the man for his overdose. But I mean, that, that's like textbook definition, second degree manslaughter. The paramedics probably could have kept that guy alive. But instead, Derek Chauvin chose to let him expire. If he isn't acquitted, he'll only serve two years along with time served for for third degree murder in Minnesota, I'm not sure. I can't imagine doing time in Minnesota's all that bad compared to a state like Florida where you're gonna be surrounded by PMs. From what I've heard, Florida's like the worst place in the country to get sent to state prison. Father, can you beat Adam in an arm wrestling match? Dude, I would probably pull my bicep off the bone. I'm not doing any stupid shit like that. No, Alabama is the worst prisons. That could be true. Now, Big Dummy just said Mississippi is the worst. Alabama and Mississippi might be bad because you have no Chicanos. With no Chicos, it's just you and the brothers. White boys get turned out in Florida and Alabama. I, I'm not up on my prison lingo. I don't know what turned out means. I'm sure the Aryan nation in Florida is pretty strong. But you don't really want to make it a gang alliance. I don't know. I, I, I've never been to prison. I, I, I'm speaking complete ignorance here. I, I don't know what the tickets are. Are you better off going in there and going right straight to the Aryan nation and saying, protect me, bro? They're going to think you're a pussy. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just talking freely here. I mean, if you got a short stretch, you might as well just mind your own fucking business and not get involved in the bullshit. Do your time and get the fuck out of there. But. Turned out means they get fucked in the ass and extorted. Right, like if, if you got a, a family member that's putting in a bunch of money in your account, like if they, if they see you coming out of the fucking... Uh, whatever that store is where inmates can buy shit, that's when they're going to fucking jump you. They're going to want to take your ramens.
Jay, remember that red, white, and blue lifting belt you wore at Margate Barbell? Yes, I do. And I, I follow the guy on Instagram who owns it. He's kind of a nut job. I think he's a recovering addict, but he seems like a decent guy. I don't know. Commissary, there you go. Yeah, you don't want to be you don't want to be a white boy seen leaving the commissary, you know, with a case of ramen, a bunch of candy bars. County jail ain't shit. It's state prison you want to stay out of. I used to like ramen noodles, but that shit is so fucking salty, it'll kill you. Have you ever used Fenabot? I'm sponsored by Blackstone Labs, and I happen to have some Fenabot right here. This is a pretty decent product uh, for relaxing at nighttime, just to get to some sleep. It's not a drug, it's not for getting wasted on, it's just something nice to use to relax. But yeah, it's got Fenabut in it. I didn't say it was a drug, false god. Some people use Fenabut to try and get high. Painkiller got deleted. You consider yourself health conscious. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I just gave red blood cells on Easter. I tried logging in because it's been two weeks and supposedly you can get your, um, after two weeks, you can log in and get your cholesterol and um, your COVID-19 test results back. I tried log, I tried activating my account today and I, I had some technical difficulties. I couldn't activate my account. So I would have known today how healthy I am. I mean, who, Whose definition of health are you going to go by? I mean, there, there's American Samoans that look big, sloppy as fuck. You know, 300-pound Samoans, and, and you do blood work on them, and they're healthy as a fucking horse. It all depends on your blood, brah. You know, there's skinny people that are, are basically a walking heart attack. You know, so you, so you got some skinny hillbilly that's a walking heart attack and, and, and some 300-pound American Samoan is healthier than them. Go figure. You, you can't judge health by your appearance. People that are too involved in the bodybuilding scene judge your health by your appearance. Yeah. Want to, unless you got blood work, you can't really talk health. I mean, you either have cancer or you don't, and you either have heart disease or you don't, and you either have diabetes or you don't. I mean, there's no, there's no like kinda. Well, I kinda got diabetes, or I kinda have heart disease. Or I kind of have cancer. You know, it's kind of like being pregnant. There's no kind of being pregnant. No. 
your blood work will tell you everything you need to know. There's definitely borderline diabetes, Jay. Yeah, I guess I guess there is. You guys really think I'm stupid. I think it's awesome. I'm kind of going to have an abortion. Right. Great example. What age do you expect to live to, Jay, if you had to guess, assuming you died of natural causes? Well, I'll tell you what. At, at over 300 pounds, it's not looking good right now. I'm eventually going to have to do the size reduction thing, and I, I need to get on it rather quickly because at, at 52 years old, time is running out, bro. Um, was it Dave Palumbo? That, that said you don't see guys over 60, 300 pounds, because they all die. And, you know, I'm 52. And I, I think I think what Dave Palumbo says um, uh, has some creed to it. You, you don't see guys over 300 pounds, over 60. They do die. So, so it's just a matter of time. Before I decide that I've got to, I've got to, you know, make the size reduction. Big Larry is three hundred over sixty. Don't believe that for a minute. I know Big Larry personally. Eat steak five times a day, no carbs. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, I, I know Big Larry. I, I trained at the same gym as Big Larry for probably 14 years minimum. And Big Larry is a monster. And, and um, he was a monster when I first met him. I think he was like 46 when I first met him. I met him in 04. Uh, and uh, he said he's 64 now. Anyway, you guys help me out with the dates here. I'm talking. I can't do the math. But anyway, I remember Larry did a show and ripped before when Larry was in his late 40s. He did a show and I, I think he competed, you know, damn near 270 pounds. But that was before his fucking hip replacement. And remember, guys who are 6'4 are, are going to weigh a lot more than, than, than somebody else, you know, who's not 6'4. I mean, that's just common sense. But no, Larry's a big, big man. And, and he looks great. He's got great genetics. That hip replacement really fucked him over. Hey, Larry's awesome. I, 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 I have got nothing but good things to say about Big Larry. He was always a blast to be around in the gym. I mean, he's just a nice nice man with, with 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 an obnoxious raunchy sense of humor i mean it, it, it's like he, he's a great guy nothing else you can say about him Trust me, I know, I know Larry. You think just because I, I said I trained at the same gym? 
Come on, man. His his bro, his brother-in-law, Mikey, uh, only has one hand, and he bench pressed six fifty at the Worlds, and um. I, I used to help Mikey out at the gym. Larry and Mikey were married to uh, sisters. Trust me, I'm, 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 I know these people. In fact, I was at the World Championship powerlifting meet, and um, when when Mikey uh, competed there, and um, I forget Mikey's last name. Nice, nice fucking guy, and um, only had one hand. He bench pressed 650 with a fucking hook. And um, uh, we're at the World Championships, okay? You guys want to know what my job was at the, at the World Champion Powerlifting Meet? All right. I don't know if you guys have watched. Mikey's liftoff guy was a guy named Neil, who we used to make fun of him and call him the world's strongest. And, um, you know, when, when, you, when you're a 600 pound, you, you need more than one person around. And uh, so I was always in there the, in the gym to help out. Because um, after Mikey sat down on the bench and got set, and, and got his artificial hand attached to the bar and got 